Hey everybody, we recently had dinner at Uncle Sal's Italian restaurant. It has a pretty interesting history attached to it. Located in Scottsdale, Arizona, it was opened by the wife of former mobster Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano. It's since changed owners and Robert Molinari is the current owner of Uncle Sal's. Former mobster Sammy Gravano was born March 12, 1945. His given name was Salvatore, but when he was young he looked like his Uncle Sammy. So growing up, his family referred to them as Big Sammy and Little Sammy. When he was 10, he earned the name Sammy the Bull when some older kids stole his bike. They say he went after them like a bull, and the name stuck. Sammy was originally a mobster for the Colombo crime family. In 1976, Gravano was initiated into the Gambino crime family as a made man. During this time, one kid in particular that Sammy talks about that had maybe the most impact on him was the September 1980 hit on Mafia Captain Johnny Keyes Simone. Sammy said in the 12 hours he spent with Johnny Keyes, the love and respect that he ended up having for him was off the charts. In Sammy's opinion, Johnny was the epitome of what Cosa Nostra was. Sammy said that Johnny knew he was going to die that day, and he had a couple of requests. One, he wanted to die Cosa Nostra style with honor. And two, Johnny had told his wife that he would die without his shoes on. So Johnny wanted Sammy to take his shoes off. That way, his wife would know that he was thinking about her in the last minutes before he died. To this day, Sammy said every time he tells the story, he sees Johnny's face and it bothers him. Sammy was one of the mobsters responsible for colluding to off Gambino boss Paul Castellano. It wasn't long after that that mob boss John Gotti promoted Sammy to underboss. In 1991, Sammy agreed to turn state's evidence against Gotti. He played a large role in Gotti's prosecution by testifying against him and other mobsters in a plea deal where Sammy admitted to being involved in 19 hits. At that time, Gravano was the highest ranking member out of the five families to break his blood oath. With Gravano's testimony, Gotti received a life sentence. In 1994, for his testimony, Sammy was sentenced to five years, but by that time he'd already served four and he was released early. He entered into the Witness Protection Program. The government moved him to Tempe, Arizona under the name of Jimmy Moran. Sammy left the program in 1995 and relocated to Scottsdale, Arizona. In 2000, Sammy was arrested again for being involved in an ecstasy ring. He was sentenced to 20 years in prison. He spent six and a half of those years in solitary confinement. In 2017, Sammy was released early. Not long after his release, according to TMZ, he was spotted here at Uncle Sal's picking up a takeout order. There's so much more to Sammy's story, I have only barely touched the surface here. The last I heard is that he still lives in the area. He runs his own very successful podcast called Our Thing. And I also heard that he has some other things in the works that he wasn't able to talk about. As far as our visit to Uncle Sal's, the service was great and the dinner was delicious. So if you're looking for some great Italian food with a side of interesting history, this is the place to be. We're going to get back on the road. We will catch up with you later. Bye. Bye.